Hey everybody, Kerry here from Bab Speed Warehouse, and we uh, we had to go and redo our how-to video on the uh, doing an Excel spreadsheet on the Nimbot printer. The uh, people at Nimbot uh, updated the app, and it's different now. It's totally different than the way we were doing it before. Um, so this uh, tutorial real easy to go through. Mind you, I am using it on a Mac. We had to go and export it to an Excel file because it has no idea what uh, a numbers file is. So we had to go and do that and we dropped the file in our iPhone. We made sure we remember uh, what we named the file so we could find it. And uh, then it's just a matter of rearranging it and uh, tuning it, bring it in. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, well, we did it and uh, watch the video, watch the rest of the video and we'll show you how we did it. And please subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. And you guys have a great day. All right, so I have a file here uh, that has everything that I need. I've got dealer ID, item ID description. Now we may not be using all of this stuff, quantity, price, cost, so on and so forth. So what I wanna do is I want to export as an Excel file. I'm in, I'm in numbers, so I gotta do as an Excel file. And so we're going to save it and it's called tags file and we're going to export in our downloads all right so let's pull up our download file and let's go and um, I don't know if you have to do this but I'm going to share it um, airdrop it into my iPhone All right, so uh, we airdropped it onto the phone. We've got our tags up. We're going to be using the uh, the ring tag, and let's go and click on it. And we want to add a data source. So we're going to link data source, and we're using an Excel sheet. And I'm going to import mode and local file import. And um, let's see, shared. No shared. Let's click on browse. Uh, let's see if it's in here. There it is right there. I call it tags file. I just type in tags, tag and the file came up and we're bringing it in and we are importing the file. Now I don't have an Android phone. I don't do Android, so I don't know. So there's the file up there. And this is all the different items I can do. Uh, I could do dealer ID. I really don't want the dealer ID on there. Uh, item number, uh, description, quantity. We don't want quantity. We don't want cost. Don't need category. Don't need category. Don't need supplier. So let's just use those three items. Okay. Let's click on OK. And there they all are. Of course, they're a total mess. Let's just move them around. Description. Let's make this smaller. And the price. Let's go and uh, make that smaller also. Now, if you notice, it says description on there. We can take that out. Let's go and start over again. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get out of here and uh, don't save. Let's get back into the tag. Now that data file will be there now. See that? It's there. So I don't wanna show the column names. Okay, so it's not going to say description, it's not going to say price, it's not going to say all that stuff. So we're going to get rid of that, we're going to get rid of that. We want the description, we don't need the quantity, we want the price. Let's, do, let's see if we do an item ID, let's see what goes on with that. Okay, there we go. So here's all the items. Now we're going to have to make these a little bit smaller so they fit. And let's see, make that smaller, smaller. Now, when the file was originally done, they should have done a, a dollar sign, but it wasn't done. Okay, so let's go and just make that box smaller like that. So this is $275. This is uh, the code, and this is the description. A little long went to the description. Let's go and center that. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. We can, let's see if we can put a brake line in there. No, 
No, that's right. They're not going to let me put a brake line. Let's go. There we go. There we go. So. Yeah, that should all fit. Let's make this smaller. And let's bring this down. Okay, you get the idea. Now, we can go and preview these. And there's all the tags. So we can go and adjust them. So we can see a preview of how all the tags there were. I guess two, four, six, whatever, how many tags there are. And you can go in and change, you know, individually work on it. We can hit that one. And maybe that one's got to be a little bit smaller. There we go. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That looks okay. Let's take a look at this one. Let's make it a little bigger. All right. So you get the idea. Again, I would have uh, made this a with a dollar on it when I did the uh, spreadsheet originally. I'm not good at spreadsheets. So you get what you get. All right. So let's go and just, I'm going to hit over here so we can print them. And um, that's 12. I, and if I wanted two copies, let's say I wanted two copies of each label. So that'll do two copies of each of the labels. Um, I'm just going to print one. And here's the tag. But it'll keep on printing and you can work on the layout and your names and everything else. And uh, that's a ring tag. And for those of you that don't know how that works... Uh, you gotta take this and go like this and drop that out. Fold that over. That way there's no sticky. Put that around the ring or the chain, whatever. Like that. Fold it over and bada bing. There's your tag. All right. Uh, so that's the latest. So we had to do this because it's a new Excel. Um, a new app. The app is up and updated. I mean, holy cow, that really kind of messed me up. So the app's been updated. This is how you do it on the iPhone. Uh, I'm sure it's something similar to the Android. I can't see it really being different than that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, you all have a great day.